Are you curious about HDR, how HDR works, what is HDR, and then how to consume HDR? Well, that's what we're going to be covering in this video. Now, this video will not be edited at all. And the main reason is that I need to be able to upload to YouTube, have YouTube process it as HDR to then allow you to actually see it. So how do you consume HDR? That's probably the first and most important piece. The only way today to consume HDR, and when I say today, it is the 30th of December, 2017. The only way to consume HDR content is by accessing it through a smart TV and then using the native smart TV app to stream the HDR content. So what does that mean? That means that if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see the HDR version of this video, you need to actually watch it on your smart TV. Other services that provide HDR content are Netflix. That's also typically an app, a native TV app on your smart TV, and then Amazon, which is again another app that is native that then streams the, the uh, HDR content to your TV. As of today that I'm aware of, there is no way to consume HDR content on a smartphone, not even the iPhone 10 or any of the Samsung versions or Android versions that are available today. The distribution networks simply will not send over HDR content to smartphones. The same thing goes for tablets. Tablets cannot consume HDR content unless it's downloaded to them from a service like Netflix, Amazon, or um, actually those are the only two that I'm aware of at this point. So consuming HDR, if you want to watch this in HDR, means you have to do it from your TV, right? Second thing, how do you capture HDR? Well, most DSLRs and cameras have the ability to capture HDR content and then the internal processing changes it into whatever that look is, whether it's the Sony look, the Airy look, the RED look, the Canon look, and so on. When you output a clean um, HDMI signal or SDI signal from a camera, that signal has not gone through any of that processing. So it doesn't have all that extra sharpening. It doesn't have the extra denoising. It doesn't have anything. It's basically a raw, clean signal. Not all cameras can output this, but the Canon C300 Mark II can, the Canon C200 can, and the 5D Mark IV, and several other Canon cameras. Those are the ones that I'm the most familiar with. So the way to capture HDR content in a way that will allow you to simply upload to YouTube and have YouTube process it as HDR is to send out the clean signal into an Atomos recorder. So I'm using the Ninja Inferno in this scenario. The camera is the Canon C300 Mark II. I'm pumping this out into the Atomos Ninja Inferno. I'm using Atom HDR to monitor. I can see that the sky on the picture window here behind me is blue. I can see detail in the green, even though it is out of focus because of the f-stop that I'm at. I also can see detail right here where the sun is hitting this pillar right behind me. I can't see any detail on my shirt, but it might be something like, you know, I'm four feet away from the monitor, so it might just be my eyes. Now, it is 11.55 in the morning, so the sun is almost, you know, straight up in the sky, which means it's the harshest kind of light, right? So the sun, we, our entire ground is covered with snow at this point. So what you see here in the picture window, it's all snow being hit directly by the sun. I am lighting myself so that there is some exposure and you can actually see me um, because I'm not clipping highlights, right? I'm using the Razer 7 for now LED in full flood mode, eight feet directly in front of me and approximately 10 feet up above. So it's trying to simulate the way that the sunlight would be coming into this room if the sun was in the position where, where it actually does hit the room. 
So that's the setup, that's the scenario. Now, how do I get this HDR content processed? Well, I'm going to literally take the file right out of the Ninja Inferno, and then I'm going to upload it directly to YouTube. So YouTube and Atomos have an arrangement where the way that they're capturing in their Atomos devices allows you to simply upload to YouTube and then have it be processed. Now, why am I doing it this way and why haven't there been any cuts? Because if I put it into my editing software and I begin to make any kind of edit, I'm going to lose whatever that metadata is that is allowing this clip, the single long take clip, to be uploaded as HDR. And the reason why I'm doing this is twofold. One is I'm going to see what it actually looks like on my um, LG OLED display. I want to see what HDR content looks like after it's been processed by YouTube because that's something that I am not just interested in, but that is the direction that the industry is heading. So I want to know and learn as much as I can about it. Second thing is that I'm then going to take the log version, which is recording in camera, and I'm going to attempt to process an HDR10, which is the current streaming broadcast standard that is supported by Netflix, supported by Amazon Video, and of course, supported by YouTube. And I'm going to make this file, the log version, or maybe both the log version as well as the Atomos Ninja Inferno version available for download so that you can take a look at them and that you can try to color correct, edit, and grade them. So with that being said, here's the chip chart in case you want to adjust the white balance. And hopefully you guys will come along on this learning um, journey with me so that we can both learn and get more hands-on time with HDR content. Because the whole purpose of HDR is to allow for these extremes in exposure changes from my dark shirt to the sun just blasting on this uh, pillar or blasting on the snow in the background and then all of the different shades in, in the middle. I'm really curious. I hope you guys find it as interesting and useful as I do. And if you do, be sure to let me know. If you'd like to see more tests like these, also let me know in the comments. Now, are you shooting HDR? If you are, and you can maybe share some of your knowledge or information in the comments, that would be really useful. If you have shot HDR content, please do leave me a link so that I could take a look at it um, when I'm going through and reviewing this. Because I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm learning, I wanna learn more, and I wanna make sure that um, I stay on track with where technology is taking us. Okay, until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>